Hi, you guys. It's Molly. I'm back for round two. Let's see. I can use cups here. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do this time is I am actually going to make some smaller. I'm going to do two ring pours, one on this side, one on this side, and then I'm just going to do a dirty pour down the center and see what happens. Whatever happens, happens. I love it when the art just kind of creates itself. So again, watch, you can watch the video before it on how I'm pouring these paints. And I maybe want a couple more layers this time around than I did before, but it still came out really cool. Oh, I don't want to do that light color there. I mean, that dark color. I gotta remember to put some in this cup as well. So this one I can just pour in however I want. Now none of this has silicone in it. So I'm not looking for like crazy cells, you know? This was that one that was bubbly before I let it sit for a while, so I'm hoping that it's alright. Put some paints gray in there. I've been really loving Payne's Gray, honestly. Okay. Get this color in there. If you pour it from up high, it'll dip down through the paints and create like a movement through the paint. Makes its own kind of design. And I think that's really all the paint I'm gonna put in there at this point. Yeah, I think that's good. This I'll put a little bit more in. Finish off my Payne's Gray, maybe put a little bit more aqua in there. Turquoise and aqua. Get some of this electric blue. Baby blue, I kind of want these maybe hopefully to be a little bit darker, but I can see I got a lot of white in there. Okay, so I'll leave this off to the side for now, and I'll start with a puddle pour probably right here and right here. So start off in the center, and then you get your lines going. The smaller your circles, the more rings you're going to have, and then the more rings that you can stretch out. There's that white coming through. It's pretty good contrast. My hand always gets a little bit wobbly at the end. And then you want to catch that last, oh, I didn't do it. Catch that last drip. Now I'm going to try this left-handed on this side. I'll continue with The beginning is always okay, but then you got to start actually trying to make circles when you get to the lighter colors and the I shouldn't say you gotta because I don't truly believe in art. You gotta do anything at all. If you watch my last video, I was worried about the aqua creating some, because um, it had bubbles in it, creating like some little pop-up cells, and it looks like that's already started, but I don't really care because it looks pretty. I'm going to start in the corner, work my way down there. I 
It's going to be a cool design. I'm going to put a little bit more paint in here for this other corner. Might as well use up my paint. All right. I want a little bit of layering in there. Scrape off this blue. Sky blue is really pretty. A little bit more of this color in there. And then I can always come through with this color because this is what I painted the outside. Corners. And then I'll put this. These are the kind of paintings you just have fun with it. It does not matter what happens here. And then I'm just going to circle these around. See what happens. Again, you always want to start slow or else you're going to get kind of crazy. You'll get kind of crazy lines. I don't care if these get a little bit off. I don't care if they look a little bit wonky. That one's already going off the side really doesn't matter to me. I do want this one to go a little bit further up that way. Then I can bring it back around. Oh no, my thumb got in there, but that's okay, because I had enough paint. That's why you always want enough paint on your canvas. I want some of that to come back over the side over there. Okay, let's see what's going on. This part right here, just want to help this paint down. Ooh, this looks really cool on this side. Just want to help that paint right along there. Help the paint along the sides. Scrub the bottom. Make sure my ends are covered. Wipe my hands off. Ooh, I really like that one. Wow. So cool, you guys. I really like it. Let me wipe my hands. I'll take it down. I'll show you the sides because the sides are super cool. I'm actually going to stick my hand up underneath this and flip this around so that I can make sure that that is covered as well. Swipe that off the bottom, make sure that's covered. it on around, make sure everything's covered. Okay, let me put this down so I can take the camera down and show you guys. I always get paint everywhere. Does this happen to anybody else? Ta-da! 
super cool, huh? Look at all the extra lines that are in there. A few little bubbles. That is it. Look at the sides. The sides look so freaking cool. Show you those sides. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. You can check me out at Facebook. Uh, Facebook.com slash Mollistry. M-O-L-L-I-S-T-R-Y. You can check me out at Molly's Artistry 6 on Instagram. I have my webpage coming soon. If you'd like any of my artwork, just message me. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night. Bye.